What follows is a terrifying journey into the world of magic, mystery. Welcome to Coming Attractions. My shower is broken. May I use yours? Wow. Water. Chicks love it when you babble. When did it become cool? For fake niggas to diss real niggas. Yo, what up, watchers, man? You already know who it is. Um, yo, Sixers game just went off. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, well, first of all, I jinxed my own team. You know, I said to my mom, you know, this is gonna be a good bird. You know, I was, I was like, you know, just being sarcastic and funny, and you know, felt like we was gonna put the Wizards out anyway. So I was like, hey, I want y'all to win this game, on you know, for you. Talking to my mom because it's her birthday. You know, happy birthday to her. Again, love you. And um, it was almost a joke. It was almost like, ah, yeah, you know, lighthearted. And, 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 and they really ended up winning on her birthday, which is crazy. And um, it's a long time I was his fan, you know. Um, uh, me, Sixers fan, you know, obviously. Um, and it was irky, you know. I, I'd rather them would have... I'd rather them win when the beat healthy, how we lost, everything, you know. I'm going to get into all that, you know. But watch this, you know, from the rip, like I said, uh, well, with the title of this video, I already know what it's going to be called. It's basically, like I said, if if Embiid is out, Maxie's in. That's just the bottom line, you know. Maxie should be starting. I was mad at Doc, you know what I mean? I'm mad at Doc. You know, he made a couple just rotations. He was searching, you know. I know he was searching out there, but he should have left Maxi in. He should have left Maxi in. He was the only one cooking, other with him and Corky, Corkmoss, and um. He 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 should have been left in. If we'd have lost with him in, that was his moment to me. You know what I mean? As a rookie in the playoffs, that was his moment. I, he would have won it. In my mind, that's what would happened. No matter what's going on, like we just gotta give him that shot. You know what I mean? And give it to him. Even if he failed at the end, offensively. You know, you put him in all the way at the end. All right, it was called. Momentum was gone. This and the third. Like, keep Maxi in. Let him fight. Do it. If he, if he, you know, if he failed or not. You know, if he fucked up or not. So, I, I really don't understand Doc for that. But, guess what, Doc? You can make it up to me, man. And I think every Sixers fan would contest to this. Maxi needs to start, man. Especially, no, actually, only. Only if MB don't play. If MB plays, we go to regular lineup, we get him out of here, it's cool. If MB does not play, don't start Mike Scott, yo, at center. That's stupid, Doc. That's dumb. That is dumb. At least, if anything, Ben Simmons at the five, Tobias at the four. Danny Green at the three, um, Maxi at the two, and, and set at the one, and have Maxi really running the point for real. Him and Ben, between him and Ben, that's that's how we get it done. You know, the the bench can be the bench then. Dwight Howard, Shake, uh, Cork Moss, um, George George Hill. That's it. But Maxi got to start, man. If a bead is out, Maxi is in. That's it. That should be it. This 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 video should be over right here. Yeah, you know I mean this this argument should be over right here. That's it. But you know, like I said, we can get into it. Like, we can get into the game. It, it should have been won, no matter what everything went through. Wizards fans, I know y'all got, I got one. Y'all happy. Y'all celebrating. You know, that's cool. You know, what they said was true. The rotation of the ball, not not the Wizards. I mean, you know, Doc and the, and and us after the game. We had this game, and, and really rotating the ball, it was too much one-on-one -on -one play. That's really what it was. It was too much one-on-one -on -one play. Um, defensively, I, I, yo, I don't even really want to break the game down. It was one of those losses, dog. Like, it's what it was. It was still avoidable with all that against us, with Ben Simmons in foul trouble, with him beat out. We still had it, and, and, and Maxie was right there. Maxie is the key. That's the thing now. Now Maxi is truly the key. He is. 
Like he's the one who, who defensive. We can always be good. We can always be great. We can always get back to that. You know, we got Diabo. You know, he 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 had to be taken out the game because you know his shots weren't going down. I understand it. You know, he's got to get better next in the off season with that, and he will. You know, he's capable. You guys already know how I feel about that, but. Maxi is the key to this series. Maxi is the key even down the road if we cannot get scoring. And with Embiid out, our scoring is lacking. That's just what happens. So Maxi needs to start. Like I said, you can still, you can, if Mike Scott better not start the fucking game if Embiid does not play. And hopefully he'll play. But if he does not play, Mike Stark can Mike Scott cannot start. That's just what it is, Doc. I'm 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 being calm about it. But if Mike Scott starts that game, man, nah, man, it, it, nah. I'm thinking positively about it. I'm not even gonna put that in the atmosphere in the universe. I'm not doing it. He gotta be smarter than this. We can't do what we was doing the regular season. Starting Mike Scott, it's a no go. Nah, we need to already we need to duff him out. And that's starting Maxi. That's it. Maxi needs to get starting minutes. Every time he gets starting minutes, he scores over 30. It's just a fact. So we got to do that. That's just what it is. So uh, it's nothing long or drawn out. You know, I, I, like I said, I just, I just, I need Doc to think about this one. Tyrese Maxi needs to be in the starting lineup. Ben Simmons need to be at the five. Forget playing Mike Scott. If you want to play Dwight Howard off the bench, I understand it. I understand it. Then Ben needs to start at the five. Tobias at the four. I'm doing your job for you here, Doc. Danny Green at the three. Maxi or Seth, who gives a fuck? They're both combo niggas. I don't care. But Maxi and Seth in the backcourt. And that's your starting five. With Daibo, um, George Hill, Cork Maz, you know, mixing and shake in there. And Dwight Howard off the bench. That's your lineup. That's it. But if MB can't go, Maxi needs to be in. That's, I, don't, I don't care if I spend the whole video saying this shit. That's what it is. That's what needs to happen. So, hey man, this is just a little, just a little reminder, man. It's a little pep talk to Doc. You know what I mean? Pep talk to us and hopefully, hopefully all the, yo, Sam Cassell, a good nigga. He's in that corner. It's mad niggas in that corner. Doc's a, Doc's a basketball guy. Doc's a smart guy. This needs to happen. Like I said, if Embiid is out, Maxi's in. You hear me? So tell me, you know, watch this. Let me know what you think in the comments, man. Uh, just one loss, but like I said, the Embiid injury is the thing. We don't know what's going on with that, but... You know what you think, watchers, man. You already know who it is, man. See that critic. Letting you know for real that Tyrese Maxey needs to start, man. It's about time. I don't give a fuck if he's a rookie. That's just how it goes. All right, till next time, watchers, man. Watchers, keep watching.